Hey house guests, welcome to today's BB Can 6 updates and spoilers. Our house guest today is Jeanette Howard. Jeanette, thank you so much for the support. We really, really appreciate it and hope you're having a great day. And if you guys want to be house guests of the day like Jeanette, check out our Patreon link in the info box below. Alright, so where are we at right now? Maddie and Paris are up on the block. Kayla won the veto. And those two are going to try to convince Kayla to put up Derek so they can vote him out this week. What? <laughs> There's no freaking way that's gonna work. There's no way that anyone in the trio would want to take Kayla to the final two. And she knows that. She's not gonna fall for it, guys. She's not gonna do it. So Kayla is doing her own work. She's trying to set herself up with Will for the final three. She wants to go with Will and Derek. And then if it's up to her, she's probably gonna cut Derek and take Will to the end. So, <laughs> she's chatting outside with Will, and Will asks her, oh, have you decided yet what you're going to do with the veto? Kayla says, yes, I have. I'm not going to use it. So, she wants to keep nominations the same, just get it done. Um, so, they both say, like, oh, I really want to make the final three, and it would be so cool because we're both from the East Coast. And they're like, yeah, there's never been a final two with two East Coasters. So they feel like they could make history together. Um, so Kayla's like, yeah, and I know that I cannot go to the final two with Derek because she doesn't think she can beat him. I think she probably could, but it would be more of a landslide to take Will unless the jury's like really bitter, which would suck. Oh my God. But anyway, um... She says that her and Derek are tied for competition wins, but she kind of shot herself in the foot with her social game, so she feels like Derek has that on her, so he's going to, like, come out on top with that. Um, but Kayla tells Will, if you go to the final three with us, you are guaranteed to make it to the final two, because obviously if you win the final HOH, you're going. If I win the final HOH, I'm picking you. If Derek wins, he's picking you. Which is not true, because I'm pretty sure Derek would take Kayla to the end, even if he knew he was going to lose to her. So, Will is like, um, I don't know, like, I don't think I would beat either of you guys, but I'll take the 20000 <laughs> Damn right you would! You've done nothing all season, okay? 20000 for doing nothing is pretty darn good. So, Kayla's like, yeah, we can make this happen as long as Paris does not win the next HOH, because... Next HOH is going directly to the final three, and they can't go to the final three together if Paris isn't the final three. So she's like, either you or Derek need to win this next HOH. So Kayla's telling Will, if it comes down to you deciding, you should get rid of Paris because if you go to the final two with her, you're gonna lose, okay? She's got a really, really strong social game, and Will agrees with that. So Kayla feels like they would be, her and Will would be evenly matched because, again, she has the competition wins, but Will has the social game. So I guess she's saying, your social game is good, but next to Paris, it sucks. Um, so then Paris comes outside and breaks up the chat. All right, later, Maddie and Paris continue to, to discuss their plan to get Derek nominated. I talked about this in detail yesterday, so if you want all the points they were trying to push, check out yesterday's spoiler. But basically... They really want to push to Kayla that taking out Derek would guarantee her a win in the final two. It would put her resume over the top and like no uh, woman has ever taken out her showmance before, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but they're also trying to make Kayla worry that Derek will try to cut her next week before the final three. Because they're like, oh yeah, if Derek gets rid of you, he can just steamroll to the end. You do that with Kayla too right? Because they're going to go together. Um, so they're like, beat him to the punch. It's going to be great. Don't let him take you out. So they're planning on Maddie talking to Kayla first. And she says, it should only be like a 15 minute conversation. Just boom, boom, boom. Give her all the points. And she'll be like, hmm. And then Paris will swoop in to reinforce it. So then Paris is talking to the cameras alone. And she's like, ooh, I feel really good about, about this plan. Now that I have Maddie laying the groundwork with Kayla, it's perfect because if Derek finds out about it and gets pissed, I can just say that it was Maddie's plan all along. No blood on my hands. Wow, isn't that exactly what she was afraid Maddie was going to do to her? But it's okay if she does it. Okay, so it's time for Maddie to make her big pitch to Kayla 
to get Derek on the block. So she presents all the points that she and Paris discussed earlier, and Kayla's just like, yeah, um, I don't want to get rid of Derek this week. <laughs> she says she does plan on cutting him at the final three, you know, before they go to the final two, if it's up to her. But she doesn't want to do it right now because she knows that he will take her to the final three. And she's focused on that first. So Maddie's like, yeah, well, I'll take you to the final three too. And you'll have a better chance of beating me than you would Derek. And Kayla's like, yeah, but like, I'm not going to go into next week with it being the three of you in the trio versus one me. Right? Come on. So Maddie keeps saying like, oh, I'll pick you. I'm not going to pick the trio. I'll pick you. Kayla is not buying that crap. She's like, um, just yesterday you told me that you are the most loyal to the trio. You know, nobody comes before the trio with you. So come on. Um, so then Kayla's saying like, if I cut Derek now, I'm going to be the next one out. Yup. <laughs> so she says again, she's going to cut Derek, but only at the final three. So then Kayla asks Maddie, why are you fighting so hard to get rid of Derek? When you're up on the block against Paris, don't you think you should campaign against her? And why would I believe that you're going to pick me when you're fighting so hard for me to get rid of my own ally and your trio can stay intact? Bingo! So then Maddie's like, okay, um, what can I say about Paris? Um, she does campaign a little bit. She's like, all I can say is that Paris will beat like everybody in the final two, except for maybe Derek. So you're more likely to win against me. That's it. She doesn't do like this whole big spiel about Paris. But eventually, Kayla says straight up, she is not putting Derek up this week. Just so we're 100% clear. But maybe she can be convinced to put up Will. So this conversation went on way longer than 15 minutes, okay? It was like at least an hour and a half to possibly two hours. I don't know. So Maddie reports back to Paris. She's like, all right, um... Kayla's not going to put up Derek. <laughs> and she also asked me to make a pitch against you. So I just said, like, stuff about the jury votes and how you're going to beat everybody. So Paris is quietly pissed. She's acting all confused. She's like, why did that take so long? That was supposed to be a 15-minute conversation, and it was two hours long. What else did you guys talk about? What did you fill that time with? So Maddie's like, well, we just went through all the scenarios and we went really in depth, so it took a long time. But Paris doesn't seem convinced. She keeps asking, why did it take two hours? What did you talk about? It was two hours, which is like the new, I stuck my neck out for you four times. <laughs> so she's like, I just don't want to get effed with this. So then Paris chats with Kayla and Kayla's asking her, what's up? You look really sad. What's going on? And Paris is like, you tell me. Two hour talk? I'm worried. Oh my god. So then Kayla's telling her, don't worry about it. You know, we're going to the final four with Will and Derek. It's going to be great. We were just talking about, like, everything. So you have nothing to worry about. So then Paris uh, ends up making the same exact pitch to Kayla about getting rid of Derek this week that Maddie just gave. And Kayla's like, no. <laughs> I don't want to be alone with the trio next week. It doesn't make sense for me. So just like Maddie, Paris is trying to convince Kayla that the trio won't take each other to the end. Come on. And again, Kayla's not buying it. And Kayla was talking to the camera after this was all over and she's like, hmm, Maddie and Paris are telling me that they're not working together anymore and yet they come to me, make the same exact pitch back to back and expect me to believe it. No. All right, so then Kayla lets Derek know, hey, um, the girls are trying to get you nominated. And he's just like, yeah, I figured they would. Um, and Kayla says, they keep telling me that you're going to cut me at the final three. And Derek says, no way. We played this entire game together. I'm not going to do that. And I want us to go to the final two. And I want us to make history being like the first showmance to get to the final two together. Um, I don't know if that's going to happen if Kayla wins. So then today, uh, they finally had the power veto ceremony. Kayla did not use the power veto, which means that Maddie and Paris are still on the block. Time to campaign, ladies. I believe they will still be campaigning against each other. You know when people are always like, oh, I don't want to campaign against you. No, they will campaign against each other. 
Um, I guess they're going to try not to sewer each other, but we'll see. So we've got three days left until the eviction. Should be exciting. And uh, at this point, Maddie's still going. But you never know. Things could flip. So let me know what you think in the comments. And until tomorrow, much love.